forever. Dog. You guys are making everything way too easy for me. Like, I want you to make me the underdog instead of just being like, yeah. yeah the yeah, the underdog is that you're not actually gonna do it. Yeah, you're no, the not underdog do it. would be it would be you guys being like, you can't carve a sign, you twink. That, that is All what right, I'm doing. Fine, that fine. is what I'm doing. <laughs> you can't I'm carve a doing... sign, you twink. <laughs> you twink. Oh, I'll show you. You wait and see. <laughs> a high school bully weirdly using the words from in the community. You could never carve a sign with those forearms, you little twink. <laughs> Wait, do you guys think it would be, like, inappropriate of me to ask my neighbor if she ever, like, maybe needs a dog walker that maybe I could, like, walk her dog? What is wrong with uh, you? Well, it would depend. What do you mean? Like, like are you just like knocking on this person's door? Or? No, well, we've talked before. Do yeah, you how want to? <laughs> I know, I know her name. We say hi to each other all the time. She's met my girlfriend. And you want to escalate this from acquaintances to an employee-employer relationship? <laughs> You're like, can I perform a service for you free of charge? <laughs> <laughs> you're like guys is it creepy if i offered a service guess, this yeah. woman's dog if you were a man absolutely absolutely <laughs> creepy mm, yeah. absolutely uh well depending on the level of relationship that you guys have but as a teeny little twinkie lesbian i say go for it <laughs> as the me, teeny little twink that like you are 300 grams of protein in it and yet somehow despite the best of luck <laughs> best of luck to that shake <laughs> hi you guys you guys i hi. was looking very much forward to this recording today okay me too i yes me too first oh mac how dare you how dare you when we're just saying how excited we were to record you oh your mes your misophonia or whatever the gay yeah, thing that you honestly, have honestly honestly rude Nisophobia? i hardly know her sorry i'm not on <laughs> my waiting for it. i'm no, really not it on happened my in my head i'm honestly glad you did it out loud it was just the way it been... was just the way guys you said it. i have N such a funny tiktok we're gonna film i hardly know you but i'm not gonna tell you what it is i'm just gonna tell you what to do okay well wait did we finish hold on we no, have four do... different threads happening four we... different storylines let's do <laughs> let's do max storyline here because i don't really have much of a storyline i'm just some, hold up <clears throat> no someone else needs to top today i cannot top i want to do a chosen family hot teenage brother instagram takeover okay and like okay. be my what character on the instagram story for okay a day. yes yes so i can like go to the gym and be like <laughs> and then i can like drink my protein shake and be like <laughs> What else can you do and just be like, L yeah, lay yeah, on yeah. my couch and be like, <laughs> play Stardew Valley and be like, <laughs> and when I do the Instagram takeover, Walk my neighbor's dog. <laughs> and when I do the Instagram takeover, it'll just be like somehow weirdly, I've got the camera upside down and pointed the wrong way. And uh, yeah, your recordings will I, be, you'll like take pictures instead of recording. It'll yeah. just be two pictures when yeah. you think you've started and think you've stopped. I'll get logged out and I'll have to like DM everyone who follows it for the <laughs> yes. password. Yeah, your takeover is you calling your son for tech help. For tech support. <laughs> What's your takeover, Elena? Advice. Recipes. Like a, a safe space. Yes. Was that sexist of me to like assume that you would cook for them? You're sexist. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely child sorry sorry but it was i can't i'm not a good cook anyway i don't like looking down i'm gonna balance my computer on a candle by the way pf candle co sponsor me i fucking love this shit i have a <laughs> membership us. sponsor us yeah All yeah my us bad together chosen, chosen family, family podcast. podcast hi everybody welcome to the <laughs> mac i do see you i'm gonna i'm gonna get to your question in a minute um but we do need to introduce the podcast and say hi okay. to everybody listening we do okay Hi, everybody listening. Welcome I, to the podcast. Yes. <laughs> this is a Chosen is... Family podcast. I'm Every your week. dad. My bad. My bad. My bad. <laughs> oh, my God. My Every bad. week we sit down around the family dinner table. We talk about gay stuff. We are the gay family that you never had um, for reasons that we are not going to get into. Actually, <laughs> there are a lot of straight people, as evidenced by the latest episode. Did you? Oh, yes. I have so much to say. Yes. I have so much to say. I have so much to say. I wait, wait, I'm Elena Joy, I'm your mother. <laughs> I'm actually I'm yeah. Mac and Jimmy, I'm your hot bro brother. You're hot his brother. baby. Mac is baby. baby. I'm your brother. I'm Ashley Gavin, I'm a comedian, I have live tour dates, you piece of shit, and I'm your dad. 
<laughs> okay, straight people are here. They They're are among us. They, they, okay. they, they are among, among us. The straights. You don't they even are. know. I posted they are. on my story yesterday and said this. I was like, holy shit, yep. I can't believe how yep. many straight people listen. Yep. I got two responses. The first one was people being like, I love to listen to you guys. Like, you're so fun to listen to. And I sometimes wonder if I had an LGBTQ plus kid. Like, this yeah. would help me. Sweet things like that. Yeah. Like, helps me connect to the community, be aware, be an ally. And I was like, that's really sweet. And then the other response was, bro, Street that's not an only really fans defensive. <laughs> oh, that's Really? <laughs> There were Those some were people in my DMs that got really defensive and they were like, what? So we can't listen to you guys just because you're like, just because you're gay. You have yes, to be gay to listen. That's the rule. <laughs> I was like, don't gaslight me into telling me that my podcast isn't about yes. being queer. <laughs> yes. That's what it's about. Yes. God forbid I assume that the listener <laughs> would, would be queer. <laughs> not the straight people in the audience gaslighting you about your own I, podcast. <laughs> oh, no. That's to so the point funny. where I really questioned. I was like, "Was that fucked up of me to say?" Well, well, <laughs> you're like, it's not is talking about gay stuff this much wrong. It's not is that. It's, <laughs> it's not fucked up to say, but they might be feeling like, look. I have I know a mm. lot of straight listeners don't always like to say that they listen to these types of things so they might be feeling a little insecure maybe they are, are like oh why am I like what's going on inside of me so they might just be a little on edge mm -hmm. straight people we are allies we love you we are, we are allies your chosen straights. family maybe your parents are mad at you about something that's completely within your control and uh okay you're and you're also, welcome here you're welcome here you are welcome here but also maybe hot take the straights aren't used to being in the minority mm. right mm. So, <laughs> so having us maybe maybe possibly <laughs> let's ostracize them further i also forgot about the third response that i got yes the third response was that's not an only fans link bro no i wasn't tell that, bring part. that up Alina. tell that part the third response that i got was i was straight when i before i started oh yeah 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 i think oh, yeah. i Classic. actually think there's Classic. some high number now no offense straights or anything i'm sure you know yourself and we're you're, not saying you're gay if you listen we're not to saying podcasts. you're gay we're just saying there's a higher probability yeah. that you're gay i was saying that a little bit i'm, I'm statistically, you're <laughs> statistically you're gay statistically yes. you're gay but you are not necessarily gay it's sort of a schrodinger's yeah. uh box of gay gayness Okay, you know what I'm so we about? need to Mac, Mac. We need to really, really laugh at that joke because last time Ashley brought up a Schrodinger, Schrodinger joke, <laughs> we didn't laugh enough, and she couldn't let <laughs> it go. We <laughs> need to laugh really, really hard. Do you guys not understand the joke? Did it just because I'm too smart for you guys? Or okay, so because we're not laughing at a joke, it's because we're too dumb to understand it. Schrodinger's Ashley. box. Yes, we What's understand Schrodinger. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Fucking nailed it. <laughs> nailed it. <laughs> Maybe if you hadn't dropped out of school, son. You would know what Schrodinger's... <laughs> you finished college. It's Schrodinger's cat. Actually, yeah. I don't know why I said box of, other than pussy. All right, let's but, start small. Uh, Who's Schrodinger? Philosopher. <laughs> Maybe small. even physicist. Well, it's about... Starting it big. comes down to how you can't tell if an electron is in one place or the velocity that it's traveling at. And it's sort of the idea that you can have, like, something... Actually, I'm not entirely sure, but I know it's yeah, about I'm, existence. I'm waiting. I'm like, come on, Ashley, explain let's, it to us. Let's go. Let's because because once you, it's basically the idea that two things can be true at once, but like, but they're deterministic states, so they can't also be true. Okay, at once. so so Max said start small. So all this determinist <laughs> electron yeah, is it that you can put a cat in a box, or you can have a box and say there's a cat in it but you don't know if there's actually a cat in it because you can't see. So it's like, there. it's both true that there's a cat and there's not a cat. The like, paradox. If the tree falls in the woods. No. <laughs> not correct. If a straight Schrodinger person listens to this podcast, <laughs> <laughs> are they gay now? Schrodinger's cat is a thought experiment that illustrates the paradox <laughs> of quantum superposition. Hypothetical cat may be considered simultaneously both alive and dead while it is unobserved yeah. in a closed box as a result of its fate being linked to a random subatomic event that may or may not occur. So the idea is like both things can be true at once. I like it's, a, it's a paradox. Better. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, you. you know, you, you clearly that like your mom a lot more. That was dad and mom answer. I feel yeah. like. <laughs> yeah, <it was. laughs> 
I'm like, honey, I can explain it to you so that you'll understand it's really important to me. And <laughs> Ashley's like, let me Google it. <laughs> let me Google it and read you the Google, Google is page. powerful. You can learn anything. You put That's your true. mind to it. Yeah. Ashley, tell us about your special. It was magical. Tell it. That's the update. Like, tell us about that. I'm so tired. Oh, my God. Yeah. It was magical. Ugh. It was really great. It was. We did four shows on tape. Mm -hmm. I did eight shows over the weekend. So I rehearsed twice uh, in the space. The team was incredible. Um, then we had two Friday shows, classic Ashley Gavin, like kind of quiet, non-laughy crowds. But that space is so acoustically good. It, I still got some good takes out of it. And then Saturday first show was probably the best audience I've had. I mean, that was just like one of the best shows I've ever done in my entire career. <sighs> It was oh, like I'm so this excited. is really good to hear. So I've been excited. thinking about you all week. Like me too for this recording. I was like, yeah, I it was. Hope it goes okay because you didn't text us and be like, oh, I was. Yeah, I've never. It. I've never. I've never felt what I felt over the weekend. Like it felt like my bones. I was so happy and tired. It felt like my bones were loose inside of my body, just like jiggling around. Like I couldn't. Well, they, well, they probably kind of were. Yeah, I just like couldn't. Yes, <laughs> thing. But also it just was like this <laughs> level of tired. <laughs> Sorry. It was just like, and my sleep schedule was crazy because I, I would caffeinate before the show and then I'd mm -hmm. have the, this, I've never had so much adrenaline in my body for such a sustained period of time. Like I had yeah. full adrenaline for, for like four or five days so like oh coming down, like sleeping, my sleep schedule got all fucked up. But um, then it was really funny because the show after the good show, the, uh -huh. the good show, I have this moment in the show where I cry, but then I subvert it with this punchline. Um, like at like rehearsed a part yeah, of it? Yeah, or, it's, okay. like, it's like acting. It's not Written like a- it. You yeah. cried on command? Yeah, it's like acting. It's just like, have you ever do heard you, of acting? Elena, do you know uh, acting? Actually, it's do you called know? acting. <laughs> actually, we, actually, we wrote it into the show. It's called <laughs> acting. <laughs> I'm like, was this like, did you, you know, make it up on the fly where you're crying? Um, actually, well, it was organic. I wrote it into the script, actually. <laughs> wow, Elena's laying into you it's right okay, now, bro. Because when, when she sees it, she's going to forget that we had this conversation and she's going to start crying and then she's going to get the punchline. It's the, it's the end of the show. It went... It just like went literally perfectly. It couldn't have made it better. And then the next audience was absolute dog shit. Dog shit. <laughs> Worst audience. Of, so yeah. what I ended up doing was I just did 45 minutes of crowd work. So I recorded two okay. specials. I recorded yeah. my scripted oh, yeah, material yeah, yeah. special and I recorded a crowd work special. <clears throat> and if you guys don't sign up for my fucking text alert... To get mm -hmm. a text or an email when this special comes out, I swear to fucking God, I don't care if you like comedy. This is for gay people, okay? Do you <laughs> care about gay people making it to the mainstream to Actually, help change the, the world? The straight people here too. Oh my I bad. You straight. Well, it's for it. This is for <laughs> this is gay for people and statistically also gay people. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was just like oh my God, and my sister and my girlfriend um were uh in the audience for the really good show on the really good night so, so wait do we get to now not say main babes anymore I now we say, say girl well actually let's let's just keep it main babes because we have some reveals coming on the podcast that shan't be named we're having gay sex so uh -huh. we uh, chart topping yeah award winning that one the other one on uh, episode with matt coming out sorry elena i was in misery it's okay I forgot we recorded that. That was fun. Our lighting <laughs> was, really, was fun. really good. The lighting was incredible. That's enough Better about than me. what we said was the way it's that okay, we probably looked at Ashley, that. you're coming to Vancouver. I am coming to Vancouver. In May, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah. hell yeah. We'll, Mac, fuck you. Yeah, fuck what you. What day? Mac. Just kidding. Just kidding. Whoa. Just kidding. What Sorry. day? I'm not telling you. You don't even have a passport. Perhaps, you don't have a passport. Yeah, you would actually be quite difficult. Perhaps I think, May I think the 4th? No, 11th? It was not. It was the 11th. It's the 11th? No, I but thank you guys for Star Wars thank joke. you guys for asking me. It was like really like um, it, it to be emo. The only thing that I've ever wanted, my only goal with comedy, mm -hmm. is to make the best possible work that I can at the highest level that I can, mm -hmm. and that was my uh, first time doing that. 
It was like <sighs> it all yes. it, in nine years. I finally got to make like something that I was like, that is a good special, and the production quality is the best it can possibly be. So we've well, six so have you posted any clips? Are you posting any clips of that to yeah, your Instagram? Yeah, I will or? be. I will be. But you haven't yet. No, because it's in post. We haven't even. It's okay. It's six K. It's six K. Yeah. So oh, it's a lot six, to edit. That exists. Oh, sorry. Six since when? We have ten camera K? angles. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. I just nuts. threw up. There's like all that smoothie. There's yeah. like lighting <laughs> cues gain, and shit. I just gain it back, swallowed it back down. It's Holy like shit, for realsies. Bro. I have a question. Sure. You wore the same outfit every night. Yes. Okay, I was just continuity. wondering. Continuity. Yeah, yeah, we had like we had little tape for the for the placement of the stool. We had little tape for the placement oh, of my cup mm -hmm. of seltzer, and we sipped the cup mm -hmm. as we poured the cup of seltzer back in for the beginning of Spons? every show. No response. Oh. Uh, <laughs> what else did we do? I checked where my like fucking hat, my mm -hmm. adjust. Oh wow! Yeah, mm -hmm. everything, everything. You looked I'm so good. So excited! Thank you. Yeah, you I have so stills. good. Like I had to take a moment when you put your stills up because I was like, that's not even color corrected or anything. Wait, Elena, can I show you a still? Please, guys. On the last episode, I talked so much i i dominated that episode and i apologize what, uh, what last episode the one that what just came mean? out what what did we talk about in that oh the <laughs> Maca, i don't remember i've been trying the to like cupping cupping okay that one or did the... you you did i talked I feel like so you... much well great that's probably because you had something to say and we didn't so that's fine okay well i'm just saying i don't want to dominate i don't want to be a little whore you know I mean, I think you like being a little whore. I think the audience likes it when you're a little whore. I think we audience I think maybe do. We like it. Do you like it when I'm a little like whore, like listener? I think I like like it when I can't. I'm really I can't. uncomfortable. I can't. I can't listener, do you I, like I it when I'm a little there. whore? I almost did it, and now and then I I didn't, and I'm glad. The filter kicked in. There, there are the stills. <gasps> and oh my god! Obviously, that's not like a six k. But isn't that, look at that background. Isn't that so cool with the, the lights? The tone? So oh my God. This is so pleasing. Yeah, it's really visually pleasing. I worked with such an incredible <gasps> team. The wow. light, your wow. outfit. No, I love your outfit so much. The hat says oh live my God, fast, Ashley, eat I'm ass. I'm so excited for you. I'm so excited for you and I'm so proud that you've oh, created you. this thing on your own. Thank like you. I understand you have a team, you have I understand you have the audience that's that's supporting you and all of that, but like you made this happen on your own. Ugh. You did. All of these things that all the people that helped you, everything, ah. the way that it happened, you built it. You did that. You did. Thank you. It's amazing. Are you acting right now, Ash? <laughs> no, it's real. <laughs> yeah, I'm proud of myself. You should yes. Yes. I can't wait to see it. I'm so excited. Yeah, me too. Thanks, guys. Really, really Thank exciting. you for celebrating me. My family. My kids. Always. My kid and my wife are proud of me. <laughs> Ex-wife. Dear. My Ex -wife. wife is so proud of who, I, <laughs> who I've become and what I've achieved. <laughs> my wife, who regularly sucks my penis. Ashley, what the Ashley. fuck? What yeah. that? Why did we just because we just learned that we nice have straight moment. listeners doesn't mean we have to appease <laughs> them? My wife, <laughs> straight my listeners, wife. that was for you. That was for you. You're welcome. My wife, who I regularly penetrate. <laughs> okay, she's we can, still going. We can she's not <laughs> she's do another one. I'm obviously she's, deflecting. She did another one. I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm clearly deflecting. <laughs> Someone else do a life update. <laughs> this is why I end up dominating. You little bitches are afraid to be vulnerable. Um. Yeah, no, it's actually like you're you're right. And I also I think this is a safe place, Elena. I know, but it's like I hmm. Hearing you hmm. <laughs> 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 I think I, I think I struggle a little bit with these like round table life updates. They don't have to feels... be a big deal. Did you have something cool to eat this week? No, no, no. I mean, like, <laughs> because when there is an update following. Oh, God, I'm just overthinking. I'm overthinking it. What's new? Just it feels like I'm then like 
I'm like taking away. F- I'm like, okay, now my turn. Now we're not. No, gonna talk it's about not your a cool thing anymore. I have a lot going on. This is definitively the craziest year of my life. Definitively, you yes. guys are gonna pale in comparison to what I. Have. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I think it's because the the thing that I've been thinking about, and actually we've talked about this before. Like we've this is not new for me, but it's almost the exact opposite of what you're talking about. Um, I'm thinking a lot about this job, right? Like content creation, mm. YouTube in particular, and like where I'm headed, because so many people use this job they build this platform as a stepping stone to whatever the next thing is right like some people they want to they want to act they want to make films they want to do comedy specials they want to host or something and it's like they have these bigger goals that youtube or like social media content creation builds them into it's like a that's where you start you build this thing in order to achieve this greater goal I don't have a greater goal. Like I'm not being... You're a healthy person. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not it's not helpful. It's like so I'm not interested I don't want to be an actor. I'm not a filmmaker. I don't have some sort of art that I'm crafting. Um yeah. I'm I don't I'm not interested in being famous. Like I all these things that kind of is what people move toward are not the things that like that's not my end game. And so it's like, I feel a little bit stuck because I don't know if I want to say it feels like there's opportunity somewhere that's being wasted because that's not exactly right. Yeah. But it's like, it's so cool and so beautiful to see what you're doing. Even Mac, the short film that you that you made at the end of last year, like stuff like that. It's it's so inspiring, so exciting to watch people create these things that they love and they're excited about. My, the thing that lights me up, the thing that fires me up is making people feel good. Yeah. Like ha- ta- conversations, talking with people, helping people feel valid and safe and understood. And it's like, that's why this podcast excites me so much because yeah. it's also collaborative. I think there's a big part of me that's tired of working on my own. Cause like I just, you know, I film my YouTube videos by myself. It's just me like reacting to stuff and it's a lot of fun, but it's not, it doesn't like light a fire. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like looking for that thing that's going to light a fire. Elena, mm-hmm. I think you could be the next Brene Brown. I, I, I really think like that's like your what's that? path, but what's that? Oh, oh she's just Sorry. a really incredible psychiatrist psychologist uh, psychologist academic in that space but also mm -hmm. just like author and um she has a podcast really quick yeah she anything that you've ever heard us say mac about like vulnerability or shame yeah she really has like been a pioneer in that space and i I could so see you doing something like that but i think what where you might be getting frustrated is that the medium that you work in is the medium that you work in. You're right. It's not like you're creating a following to then sell stand-up tickets or create a, pod, right. a, a, a special. You're just like in this medium and you're like, okay, I don't know what medium to shift to now that I've created this massive audience and I have their their captive attention. So like, what do what do I do? And I I don't know. We've talked about we talked about it at brunch when I got yeah. when I got you all the vegan options on the menu. Yeah, when you spoiled me. When I spoiled you. But I think that I think, and I made you and main babes talk about how much you loved each other. And I apparently, know. that was hilarious for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> well, she and I, she and I just, we're just always doing bits. But um, I think, like, I think you should write a book or or put together like See, a speaking tour or something. I think you should I've, totally write a book. I just have this feeling because I've thought about that a lot, writing a book, and I. I used to before, let's say three years ago, before all of this, before all the like life realizations, I was like, I'll never write a book because I don't have anything to say. Like I was like, I don't really have anything valuable or interesting. LOL. To sh- share. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm like, okay, that's well, hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually, I think you have a lot to say. <laughs> <laughs> I I guess okay so then now I'm like oh whoa sure there's something there maybe 
But there's like a part Something of me that's there, like, maybe. <laughs> How do I steal the rights to the movie? Honestly. <laughs> Elena, Elena. Oh, imagine me and you. It's all, it was already made. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> um, now there's a part of me that's like, okay, so maybe I have... Oh, you guys are going to rip me apart for this. Okay, maybe I have something to say, but like, who am I to say it? Yeah, you little bitch. Fuck yeah, off. Ashley's going to fuck <laughs> off. Annihilate you for that. That part of your brain, I'm taking an AR-15 to that part of your brain. <laughs> <laughs> I am mass be, shooting that, that part of your brain. That was the most violent joke we've had on the podcast today. Yeah, because that part of your brain needs to be eviscerated. No, that's actually not helpful. You know what is helpful? For you to go... Gun control. <laughs> Gun control. <laughs> Staying off your phone in the morning. <laughs> and both those things combined will bring peace to America. Yes. But <laughs> world peace. No, you know what you actually I learned to do from from a meditation course, actually, you acknowledge that part of your brain and you go, Okay, thanks for that advice. Well, who am I to say this? No, but truly I guess the 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 logistical true hang up is like I want to do a master's degree. So in my head, I like can't take this book step it, to me in my head. I'm not saying literally, but like there's this block in my brain that's like, I can't write something until I have some training or I have something. I don't know. I don't know. That's no. just, yeah, I don't know. No. I say you write one now and then you write one after you get your master's. Start writing it already. I, I could just so see you with like your story and all the people the way the way that you can thoughtfully synthesize people's what people are going through empathetically in the moment while you talk to them. I could just so see you interviewing people, helping them tell their stories. This, yeah. And like that's but when I also think about telling that, your story. That's the like that's the light up moment when I think about something like a, a podcast or something where I'm having conversations with people and it's not about me, right? Well, like I feel like I've been talking about myself for t 12, 13 years. Like I'm tired of talking about myself. That's, I think that's fine if that's genuinely how you feel. But I also hope that like every person who has ever sat down to make a piece of work about their life or something they've experienced has had the creeping thought of, well, I don't have, why me? I don't have it so bad or it's not that rel yeah. revelatory. But yeah. there are some, they're like, uh, cis white straight dudes dominated <laughs> film and media for about a hundred years. And those stories were still some of the best stories ever mm -hmm. told. Like there are and some. And now here they are listening to and this And now podcast. here they are. But like some of them are just really incredible <laughs> stories and your story is incredible. And like everyone, honestly, everyone has an incredible story. Because that's what's incredible about sharing and vulnerability is that the human experience is so universal. Like it, and in in its specificity to each person, mm -hmm. it's like a very beautiful thing. And I I don't think that I hope that you shine your little light, Elena. I hope that you let your light shine. Oh, oh, I like that. Yeah. Thanks. This Ashley. little light of light mine. Of mine. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna let, let it, it shine. shine. This is weird. Oh, no, <laughs> <Stop>. no. <laughs> we got the straights and now we got the Christians? <laughs> Christians, write in. <laughs> no, Christians no, don't Christians, write in. <laughs> maybe don't. Christians, write in. I want to hear it. <laughs> no, but you you have an, you don't sell yourself short, okay, you piece of shit? Thanks. That was inspiring. That was, again. <laughs> Mac, do you have no, an update before we go to a question? Let me check my notes app. <laughs> <laughs> I think Max's update was that she wanted us to do that Instagram takeover on the Chosen Family Instagram. That, yeah, I think that was my update. Listener, write in. Christians, write out. Let me know if you want me to take over the Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. How many do I have yeah. to get to be able to do it? I think you don't need any. I think a flat zero. No, but like your podcast. No, make so this, you like, can do whatever make you this want. harder for me so that like when I get it, I feel excited. Oh, That's what okay. she said. Um. <laughs> oh no! Oh, actually, that was worse. you read that too many worse. of the straight comments. She's she's pandering. She knows the. I'm audience. really loopy doopy today. I shall yeah. we? <laughs> So, I noticed when you said the when you sent the linky winky waddle woo. <laughs> yeah. 
I, I actually like the actually, little... Actually, for like, the listener at home, Ashley puts the subject line of the link <laughs> to these episodes different every single time, and it's always like, link-a-doodle-doo, or <laughs> something ridiculous. And today's was... Wait, let me pull it up. Today's I was... I just said it. Linky-winky-waddle-woo. Linky, <laughs> I just came up with the next one. You guys are going to lose your minds. <laughs> Ew, what is it? I'm not telling that you. That should be at the Straighty end. Straighty weighty. We, <laughs> when we say what we ate for dinner, then we also have to say what Ashley titled the link as. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, uh, guys, I actually really like this podcast. I, uh, Me too. It's good. Like I've been listening I like to it. Too. it. And I'm like, oh, this is actually good. Like this, we did it. We made a good podcast. Yeah, I think we got better. Oh okay. yeah, yeah. Oh, well, we definitely better. got better. But also, like, um, did we just get an endorsement <laughs> from a podcaster um, who's award winning, <laughs> has a chart topping podcast, and she just endorsed like our little podcast? Our little podcast is, I think, bigger than my little podcast at this point. But really, no I way. Don't know. I have to check. I have to. I know nothing about the behind. Like, I am so. I don't know who's <clears throat> listening. Straights, gays, Christians, not a clue. I want to sign like you have, Ashley. <laughs> How good does my studio look? Yes, can we all get signs? Can we get... I would love Ashley. to have a sign. Ashley, can you Ashley. get us... Ashley. Daddy. I can't... A- Alex <laughs> Alex made this for us as like... He, when I gave him... What doesn't time. Alex well, do? Can I Alex know, make Alex. us one? <laughs> Alex. I can't ask him to do that right now. He is swamped. Hey, I just found out he's been working Saturdays, and I was like, Alex, you piece of shit. You you have to tell me when you're working consistently on the weekends. Like, you cannot mm-hmm. just keep that from me. So Alex is a little swamped, so he cannot make a sign. But maybe Sydney can. I would love to carve us some signs. You're not going to do that, Mac. Why, no, why not? Wait, you're saying Alex, ha- he didn't hand make He hand made si- this. It's, it's poster board. On wood, I think. Why don't you guys trust me to carve the signs? Okay, Last Mac, year, I it. made my girlfriend okay, a, Mac, a box for to keep her letters that I write her in, and I, like, hand-carved it and stained it and carved a sun and a moon into the top because we have, like, All right, I'm, rings I'm ready. That. Send me my children. I'm saying I can do it. Carved, okay, let's see it. We need to come up with, like, Sounds a good. proper, like, this is, like, a, pro- a pro- <laughs> I'm ready, Mac. A proper <laughs> my logo. Hand, my handcrafted <laughs> sign. That was easy. You guys are making everything way too easy for me. Like, I want you to make me the underdog instead of just being like, yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, the underdog is that you're not actually going to do it. Yeah, you're no, the not underdog do would it. be, it would be you guys being like, you can't carve a sign, you twink. That, that is All what right, I'm doing. Fine, that fine. is what I'm doing. <laughs> you can't I'm carve a doing... sign, you twink. <laughs> you twink. A bu- oh, I'll show you. A high school bully. You wait and see. <laughs> a high school bully weirdly using the words from in the community. You yes. could never carve a sign with those forearms, you, you little twink. I bet if you were a drag queen, you wouldn't be fishy. <laughs> I don't. What's fishy? Fishy is like, 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 like feminine. Like you've got it. You look. You look the part. You're. It's good. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Fishy, because it's like, badges smell like fish. Apparently, you know. They do not. I know, but that's where the that's the origin. Okay. What you I'm going to take this clip from the podcast of you guys telling me I can't and I'm going to make like a little TikTok series. I'm going to carve you some fucking signs. The best signs you've ever seen. Yeah, and right. Goddamn. Li- you carve signs so the way you fuck <laughs> men. You don't. You don't. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> now get out of here, you little twink. Wait, before you go. What are your pronouns? I want to make sure that I get them right when I bully you. Ashley, you're such a good bully. That's hilarious. You're such a good bully. She's a fucking... She or they? She's a fucking loser. (laughs) You wait. I'll show you. I I am waiting. Genuinely waiting. I actually think... uh, I actually think, like, politically correct bully could go... Could go viral. That is hilarious. Incredible. Um, Yes. Okay, cool. Well, should we do, should we, t- yes. it's been 36 minutes, so we should yeah, probably let's do, do a, a question. Let's do a question. Do we want to pull um, it from listener. the Patreon? Yeah, listener, do you want your question answered? Straight person? Christian? Would you like your your question answered? All the Christians out there? 
Um, you can go to our Patreon, patreon.com slash chosen family podcast. And that's where we pull the questions from, our private Discord. Only but I bet you won't. Our patrons. <laughs> But you can get ad-free episodes. Like, if you don't mm-hmm. like these the ads on here, you can go, because we're starting to get them, which is really mm-hmm. cool. But you we can, like the ads on here. We, and bonus episodes. And bonus episodes. You can also get bonus episodes. Yeah. Okay. Kay. Patreon. <clears throat> Elaine is sort of the czar of the questions. Yeah, somehow. Somehow that's become... Well, I'm, czar, I, I'm yeah. czar of the... Linky... Linky... Boop, 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 boop. That's true. You do all the riverside and Mac does all the carving. You know what? No, Mac brings like you bring some of the bits. Like you've got stories. Okay. I feel like okay. Fuck you. I feel like you've got stories. I feel like fuck you, you, Elena. Like Mac doesn't even have to write a script. You know what I'm saying? How am I not czar of bits? Act. (laughs) Mac is czar of bits. Actually, I think. I think that's what's a czar. (laughs) Schrodinger czar. (laughs) <laughs> Mac, is, Mac is Schrodinger's czar. Mac, Guys, I can't we're so wait. funny today. I can tell we miss each other. <laughs> oh, okay. So, I identified as bi for several years and had really hard breakups with men. However, I realized I was a lesbian and the relationships I treasured the most were mostly over text or I loved the idea of them more than the guys I actually dated. However, most of my friends and family don't believe me that I'm a lesbian due to my past. I 1000% do not want to sleep with men at all, but I keep letting the doubts creep in. How do I convince them and how do I stop doubting my own sexuality? Well, this sounds like a question for me and definitely not Elena. Um, <laughs> czar of bisexuality. I am the czar of bisexuality. What the fuck is a czar? <laughs> you guys want, just laugh don't when I tell, tell you her how, Don't it. tell her how to spell it. Mac, Google czar. Yeah, best of luck. Son. <laughs> we just wait. Ooh. Horizon, skyline, sheen, gleam of light, brilliancy, shining light, summit, peak, exactly. Christ. Exactly. Do you yep. get it That's now? it. That's it. That's it. So like a climax? <laughs> yep. Like, like Zar the... Czar of misunderstanding. Czar of not climax getting a joke. Of... Czar of, <laughs> of not correctly Googling. Czar <laughs> of losing the spelling bee. No, because the things you're saying right now make sense with my definition still. Do they? The climax of the spelling what? bee? <laughs> like I'm the climax of the spelling bee. <laughs> okay, guys, shut up. Seriously, answer the question. <laughs> we are like 40 minutes in. Okay, seriously. guys, like seriously, shut up. <laughs> seriously, guys, shut up now. Okay, like shut up. This ep- I have I noticed the bully ball. Line. I have the. I have noticed though this podcast has moved sort of away from being a question and answer podcast yes, and being more of a hanging out podcast. Talking. which is fine with me you need a hook yeah i'm i'm having fun i like the bullying plot line too anyway okay are you gonna answer this fucking question or not this is your question i thought you were gonna i'm not gonna gonna answer that question well the question is about like how do i convince myself of my own sexuality and how do or how do i convince my friends and family of my sexuality. You have to eat box I... in front of them and then suck a dick in front of them. Yeah, and Elena, why don't you take show this Show them. Okay, well, yeah, you're right. Yeah, let's actually... Okay, sorry. Everyone, I'm so sorry for that. We should have taken it... I should have taken the question immediately. Patreon um, episodes, we actually bleep out all of the straight things that Ashley says. <laughs> so if you're looking for cleaner content, maybe check that out. And if you're straight, the Patreon just episodes. stay right here. Ashley's not in them, actually. (laughs) (laughs) Guys, we are so funny. There are some people in the comments who are going to be like, thank God, and sign up for the Patreon immediately. No, I think that the... You have to kind of answer the second part of your question in order to answer the first part of your question. When you say, how do I convince them, and how do I stop doubting my own sexuality, you're going to have to stop doubting yourself in order for them to believe you, right? Like... The way to convince anybody of your sexuality is to believe it yourself because once you believe it yourself, you're not going to, it doesn't matter if they're convinced. Yes. Because needing the validation of, of them. You're saying like the reflect, the self-doubt is a reflection of, mm. or the other people doubting is a reflection of their self-doubt almost. Or, 
a reflection and it only matters because right. there's because self-doubt of the self-doubt exists. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was going to say, if you know in your heart that you're a lesbian. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like someone, it doesn't matter you know, what other people think. I feel like you get my... to a certain point and stop trying to convince other people. Like, yeah. if they exactly. don't listen to you. That's just ridiculous, in my opinion. Like, exactly. I don't sit around with my dad and say, you don't understand. <laughs> This is what I said. This is what I meant. Why can't you comprehend? He's not going to get that. I don't understand. I'm a little twink. I am a little twink. <laughs> you never get you it. You need to believe me. <laughs> no, I, I, it's, I do understand this idea of people looking at your past and like invalidating your present sexuality because of your past. I get that. If someone looks at me and is like, mm, you can't be gay, you had all these relationships with men, you slept with men, you pursued men, you dated men, you were engaged to a man, that means you can't be gay, I'm like, hmm? that's kind of funny that you think that, like, hmm? that's cute. And yeah. also, you're not in my life anymore. Like, it yeah. doesn't bother me because I know for me. So I think... Anyway, all that to say, I think this is a question for all of us, because how do you feel confident and sure in your sexuality? How do you do that? Well, I will just to tag on to what you were saying real quick before we answer that question. I I also think like if you're looking for something just sort of practical, you have every right to say to these people. I mean, I don't know what your safety situation is. I don't know what your relationship to these people is. But you have every right to say like, hey, one time, this is the last time I'm going to say this, I'm gay. If you don't understand why my past experiences, aka the fucking closet, (laughs) don't invalidate, have you heard of it? Don't invalidate (laughs) my current identity or who I am rather. Mm -hmm. If you don't understand that, it's not my job to educate you. Go watch the Chosen Family podcast. (laughs) Join the other streets. I am not doing this again. You can give them that last thing as like a way of being like, I'm done with this emotional labor. You have to, you don't understand what being in the closet is. And that's fine because you're straight, but like go read a book. Okay. I know straights Mm -hmm. don't read, but like you could offer that (laughs) suggestion to them. And if you always like a, that was like a nerd bully. Why don't you go read a book? <laughs> oh, you're straight. You don't oh. read. Oh, but you don't even read. Okay, I have an analogy. Oh, yeah, nice. Yes. Okay, czar, czar of, of analogies. analogies. <laughs> I hate you guys. Let me let me climax this analogy. Stop it. So basically, basically, when I was a kid, my favorite fruit was mango. I ate it all the time. Hold on, wait, guys. I'm really sorry to do this, but guys, Ashley, you are frozen. frozen Stop the analogy. Stop the analogy. That you are frozen on right now. Oh, she's back. Oh, she's gone. Her thing is back, but she's gone. (laughs) Wait, where did she go? I don't know. She's gone. Maybe she's. Maybe we're bullying her too much. Can I finish my? Yeah, sorry. Can I finish? You you wanted to eat mango or something. Start again. I was too distracted by your. Mango was my favorite fruit. Okay. There she is. Where did she Sorry, go? guys. Okay, so that charger wasn't charging my computer somehow, so my battery was about to be depleted. <gasps> so I Would think I got this? it in. Okay. I think I That's got it said. in. That's what she said again. But everything started <laughs> skipping and being weird, and I just wanted to make sure that... That it got in. That it got in. Go back to your f- food analogies, R. When I was younger, I really liked mango, and I ate it all the time. And then I got older, and I ate it, and I had an allergic reaction. Uh-huh. When I told people I'm allergic to mango, they didn't go, but you used to eat it all the time. You're not allergic now. Oh, this is a good analogy. And I was like, Because no, you're born watch straight. This. If I eat this, I'll <laughs> swell up. <laughs> You develop a condition. (laughs) You become allergic to men. Because of all the growth hormones and food and the media (laughs) and all Mm -hmm. the things. Mm -hmm. You develop the gay condition. This goes, let me just finish with saying, don't let people tell you what you're allergic to. Men. And I'll leave leave you with that. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you so much. 
Czar of analogies. <laughs> Czar of analogies. Thank you for your work. Thank you so much for your contribution, for your service. <laughs> this is the end of the episode, I decree. Yeah, what happened here today? <laughs> and clearly, what did we have for dinner? Mango. Linky winky waddle woo. Oh. <laughs> Linky, the czar of mango. analogies <laughs> reigns supreme. The czar of Linky Poo. <laughs> Linky Dinky Winky. Oh, no. Thanks for listening, everybody. We love you. Patreon.com slash Chosen Family Podcast. Submit your questions. Listen to our bonus episodes. Support this, you piece mm-hmm. of shit. And then Please. support each of our individual platforms because we all have interesting things going on. Okay? Mm-hmm. Elena's writing her book. And well, <laughs> Mac, <laughs> Mac has her shirt off. And me, I have <laughs> mm-hmm. live tour events. Mm-hmm. And a comedy special coming out. And a comedy out. special coming out. So go support our different things, okay? Thanks, everybody. We love you. Wow. <laughs> we love I've you. I've never said that before. <laughs> Thanks for listening to this. Oh, my God. Go eat We're a having mango, fun. you queer. Chosen Family is a Forever Dog production. Hosted by Ashley Gavin, Elena Joy, and Mac and Jimmy. Edited by Danny Jewell, executive produced by Mariah Nicholas. Forever Dog Productions is Joe Cilio, Alex Ramsey, and Brett Boehm. Forever!